Hey there, Marsman. This is Sean of Nintendo here, and welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Metro Prime on Hyper Mode on the Metro Prime Trilogy. We got some Street Bats here, but that ain't a problem. Uh, so, in the previous video, we had finally finished up, uh, well, for the meantime, we had finished up in the Fendrana Drifts. We had defeated the main boss of the Fendrana Drifts, which was Tardus. After defeating him, we finally obtained the Spider Ball, and we made our way through Magmore Caverns where we had obtained, uh, I think it was a new energy tank. I'm going to get a problem with the sensor bar here. It seems to be out of my reach. So for now, we're going to be heading back to the Chozo Ruins, and we're going to be getting an artifact in the Chozo Ruins. So I had mentioned in the previous video that when I'm going to be getting the artifacts guys I was going to be getting them in quite a loose order. Now one thing I'm going to show you here guys is first of all I'm going to get rid of these hives here because I don't want to have to deal with them. I'm pretty sure there's more is there. There is. Come on. There we go. So I had mentioned that I was going to be getting the artifacts in quite a really weird and kind of loose order. The first artifact we're going to be getting guys here is actually back where we fought Flagra. Now in order to get to this one I'm gonna have to shoot a super missile on this. And oh I don't I don't have enough missiles. I don't have enough missiles to shoot under the super missile. Uh I'll be right back when I go get one. Give me some. Please. Missiles. Yes, 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 there we go. Okay. Okay. I have exactly I have exactly the right amount. Okay. Come here, you. C come here. Die. Come here. Die. Okay, there we go. Be nice if you give me a few extra, but I guess not. Okay, so we're gonna break that. We're gonna break this one. <laughs> we're gonna be scanning these runic symbols here. This is one of the uh, other rooms that has the runic symbols that you need to scan in order to progress through here. The last one is over here. There we go. Now, I should probably get rid of these guys, but it's okay. I can do it. Hopefully they'll leave me alone. Will they? Uh, I don't think they are. Um, hey buddies, how's it going? Uh, oh no! Uh, this is making things a little bit more difficult here. Okay, fine. Come on guys, what you got? A battle against the wasps. That's what we're doing right now. This is a progressive video if I've ever seen one. Missiles, pl please. Because I can't afford to keep fighting you guys. I kinda gotta make it through the level here, okay. Maybe if I'm fast enough. Go, 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 go. What a productive first six minutes. Oh, what the hell? Come on. Bomb. There we go. And bomb. Okay. And bomb. And wait for that guy to come around. And bomb. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't that a, a productive five minutes right there? Oh. And that guy's. That was a. Uh, that was a little new enemy that we're about to find out here now, guys. Oh boy, got some more stories to tell. Did I miss anything back there? I didn't. Okay. Come on. Okay, so we can finally make our way over here without falling into the water if I don't end up hitting that vine. So you can see Flagra's been defeated here, guys, but... But... <gasps> Looks like we got a new enemy. And if I get a chance to scan it, this is... New creatures have added to your logbook. This is a Chozo Ghost Spectral Entity. Uh, bio... I don't know what that word is. Uh, field invulnerable to natural energies, okay. As these entities phase in and out of existence, the only way to track them accurately is with X-ray scanning. Okay. Uh, this partially phased nature makes them invulnerable to natural energy types such as fire, ice, and electricity. Their aggressive... Their, their aggressive and erratic behavior is most likely due to the corruptive effects of Phazon in Talon 4. Environment, okay. They appear to be drawn to Chozo religions, religious sites, uh, where they wreak havoc upon anything that dares enter the area. So, that's the thing about Chozo ghost guys. When the Chozo uh, originally came here, they had kind of left the physical world in place of a spiritual world instead. And you can see they're kind of phasing in and out between different worlds all the time, which is why we can't see them. And like it, like the uh, logbook basically said, the only 
times you're ever going to see these guys is usually around kind of Chozo relics. And this is one of them because this is the great plant that they had talked about in one of the lures that have been corrupted. Now, if I can manage to just get a target on one of these guys, it'd be great. Ah, come on. Oh, no. You ain't doing that. You ain't doing that. Okay, these guys take a bit of time to kill, unfortunately. And like it said as well, you're not able to uh, damage these guys with anything but the power beam because they're... Oh, crap. Uh, they're resistant to fire, ice, and electricity. Um... <laughs> Which is a bit unfortunate because those are the beams that we end up getting in this game. In fact, if we're lucky and I end up being fast enough, we should be able to get the ice beam in this video. Which is the main thing that we're supposed to be getting. Uh, okay. We haven't killed a single one of them yet. I don't know which one of these was the one I shot with the super missile. Oh wait, come on. We can get this guy. Come on. Uh, uh, oh, where'd he go? Oh my god. Okay, I kind of uh, almost glitched out that guy. How many shots do you take? Come on. This is being unproductive video. Please don't miss pizza. Oh no! That was a ah, that was a that was a risky shot. Okay, you guys are being assholes here. Where are yet? Uh huh. Is that the one I rapidly shot earlier. Kind of hope it is. Cause I'm pretty sure he's close to dead. Nope. Just took Tesla. Uh, where yet? <laughs> this is this is productive videos 101. <laughs> okay, I gotta stay kind of over here. Okay, please be nearly dead. Taking a bit too long for my liking here. Ah, I missed. Ah, this is this is the main reason why I um, originally chose to not fight these guys like at, at this time because they're a pain to fight when you don't have the X-ray scope. Or the X-ray visor, which is a visor you do get in this game. Okay, one down. There we go. That's one. That must have been the guy I rapid shot earlier. Okay, they usually appear to my side. Or over... Oh, oh, come on, really? Right next to me and I missed him. Oh, oh, oh! Uh-huh. 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 You're probably nearly dead. Where you at? Dude, stop going up there. Where, where'd you go? Okay, bam. Please be nearly dead. Please, 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 please. Okay, that's a, yes, another one down. Okay, one, last one left. He's usually the guy that keeps sneaking up my left or right. Ah, found you. Oh, and that's all three of them down. Alrighty. And that reveals one of the artifacts, which, uh, sorry that took so long there. But, uh, which artifact is this now? This is the artifact of... Just chose the artifact, okay. Chose the artifact acquired. And the artifact as well is the fourth of twelve. Okay. So that makes two artifacts down, and that makes... Well, ten to go. So the next thing we're going to be doing in this video, guys, is actually making our way back towards... Oops, this is the wrong way, sorry. <laughs> we're going to be making our way back towards uh, the room where we originally fought the Bomb Guardian. Well, actually, the room just outside of that, because now that we have the Spider Ball, we can advance a little bit further through there, gain a few more expansions. Oops, that's the wrong thing to do. And in I'm hoping to end this video uh, on getting the... Um, what is it? The Ice Beam. Now the thing is, now that we fought those Chozo Ghosts, most likely we're going to be seeing ghosts appear in a lot of familiar places. Uh, this is one of the areas where one will eventually appear. And in fact, um, now, that we're, now that we're not here, but uh, in the next room up ahead, which is this one, we will be able to get ourselves a missile expansion now that we have the Space Jump Boots. So we're just going to make our way up here. Which is a lot easier now that you actually have the Space Jump Boots. Um, actually, hang on, where are those street bats? I don't want to have to deal with them. Because, uh, you can see if I can smash the aim up here. Street bats! Haha! <laughs> oh, give me the missiles. Oh my god, missiles. I missed you, missiles. I missed you so much. Okay, so right up here, if you plant a bomb. And missile expansion. And I think we have 90 missiles now. That we do! Alrighty. 
Freak bats. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna make our way through these guys here. That's the first time. No, that's not the first time, but it's very rarely that I take the time to kill those guys. Okay, more Shriek Bats. And yeah, I did scan the ice ones that last time. So when we're going to go in here, this is that room I told you about. I think it was in episode 2. Um, actually, it might have been episode 3, I can't remember. If you go into this hole right here, you can get yourself an energy tank, which you were able to get a lot sooner in the game, but I just chose to leave it until now. Because it was just, like I said, it was just convenient to come back here now. And, in fact, next room we're gonna, not, well, not the next, next room, but one of the rooms up ahead we're gonna be going into is gonna be the room where we're supposed to fight the actual first, uh, Chozo ghost. And there should be a Chozo artifact in here as well. I mean, not artifact, sorry. There should be a, what is it, lore. There should be a lore. Dude, die, please. Thank you. Yeah, here we go. You chose a lore and she's added to your logbook, script translated. Okay, what is this otherworldly pestilence that infests the land, sneaking, seeking, sorry, I'll, I'll try better here, seeking out life in its blind need for corruption? And where did the meteor that brought this, brought it originate? Was it crafted by alien hands? Or is it a roving chunk of planet that suffered a violent end? Our minds qual in horror at the thought of it that long ago, in some corner of the universe as yet unseen by our eyes, an entity, an entire planet was perhaps once coated with this great poison. Whatever catacly cataclysm may have ruptured that doomed place must have been mighty indeed. Okay, and if the other meteors from it spread through the space, Bearing this evil to bearing this evil to the far corners of the universe, we hold fast to the hope that this is not so, that the only surviving remnants of this evil, if this evil are here on Talon Four, then at last there is hope for its eradication. But little did they know in Metroid Prime Three. Uh, you'll find out a little bit more about that then. I won't spoil anything in regards to the uh, the later Prime series, but I'm pretty sure I might have already done that. <laughs> okay, so this room. Oh yes, uh, we can get another missile expansion. And in fact, uh, you guys are in for a bit of reading here, which I'm going to try so damn hard. Because there are three things that we have to read here. <laughs> so, uh, quick drink of water. Oh, we got some scan data. Uh, regional climate change analysis complete. Abnormal, abnormally low temperatures in the ruin site. Okay, so this was it basically telling us where the ice beam is. So let's take a time to read this here. Download the logbook. Script has been translated. To the entrusted one, if you read these words, then our hope has not been in vain. Okay, your path is fraught with danger. Monstrosities beyond description lurk in the shadows, starving, hunting for prey, searching for ways to quench the poisonous urges that bloom in their brains. Some of these are shrewd, but they are blind by their evil designs. Believing in the black promise of the great poison, they seek to harness it for their own ends. It is these last that are the great that are the greatest danger. When you rid the universe of these creatures, you will be the true you will be the entrusted one. Okay? I think I did pretty good with that one. Script translated. None, none know of our temple, the cradle, which is the temple where they have the artifacts. Uh, we will, we will prove, will prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever, for now, forever, for now. It wraps around the ab abomination, cutting it from our world above. However, we believe the power of cipher, which has been produced. Oops! Whoa! What happened? Ah! I let go of the Z button. <laughs> the cipher, which has been uh, produced by linking the twelve artifacts, should be strong enough. The fate of this world is now left in the one who will collect all the artifacts in the future. The time when the entrusted one knows is approaching. Oh boy! Oh, there's some kids outside. Sorry. <laughs> Script translated. Many children are gifted with the distant sight, and even more begin to learn. As our har harmonization with the universe becomes more and more complete, we peer forward, seeing prophecy in the ripples of the water, hearing rumors of coming days, 
on the breath on the breath of the wind, sorry, uh, through the through the celebrate the, though we celebrate the distant sight, geez, <laughs> many of these visions are dark. The worst of the pro prophecies, yeah, worst of the prophecies and the most common tells us the coming of the worm born from parasites, un, un, unnatured in the poison womb, okay, unnurtured, geez, in the poison womb, the worm grows, devouring from within, until the large being to rot. Uh, not, the, not, not all prophecies come to pass, of course, but we cannot help but fear this dark protent. Okay, I think I did okay with that reading. <laughs> I think I did okay. Either way, uh, you want to scan this right here. I think I'm getting a little bit better at reading out loud, but uh, reading out loud has never been my forte. Uh, so I'm hoping that in doing this and in re you know, reading of the lores and hopefully reading of the lores of Metroid Prime 2 and Metroid Prime 3, I'm hoping that it will kind of help my reading ability because I'm just not the best at that. Okay, really? Come on. Get up there. Thank you. We're coming close to the, the 20 minute mark on this already. So I'd kind of like to uh, end this video upon getting the ice beam if I can. Okay, so we're just gonna half pipe our way up here. Oh my god. There we go. We just got a little thing pop down here. And if we just drop down there, we can guess. Well, as soon as it brings us up. Missile. Okay, so let's uh, press forward, because we have a Chozo ghost that we need to fight uh, in this video. And then we have to make our way to the room that actually has the ice beam. So, uh, let's go do that. Let's go do that. Let's go fight uh, the official uh, first Chozo ghost. Uh, which is this? I remember the time when I was reading about that thing when it was mentioning the worm. Uh, I thought it was referring to something different. In fact, if I come across that room in particular, I will show it to you guys. But if you come in here to the left, you will find uh, yourself with an ammo recharge station, which completely refills all of your missiles. And in fact, we can skip that, which is good. Missiles fully replenish. And they give you the whole kind of cool team song as well, which I thought was cool. And here we have the official first Chozo Ghost. I gotta try to super missile him from the beginning. Oh, we can't. Oh, it came back around! Oh! Dude, oh, oh! That was, uh, that was cool. Okay, and uh, where you go? Where'd you go? There you go, there you go. I think it takes three super missiles, does it? Yeah, it does. Okay, there we go. And then this guy with hand will glow a glorious blue. Okay, before we, uh, before we go into that. Just one more lore over here. Okay, so the script has been translated. Things bound to er earthly shapes are temporal and frail. Existing in a single dimension, they are fragile, vulnerable, and ultimately mortal. However, not all things obey this law. Shapeless, they wait beyond the realm of perception, emerging only only when one ar arrives who can feel their presence. Such is the will of the Chozo. Our will to defeat the evil seeping into this planet remains. We desire only to see the darkness only to see the darkness meet its end. The will of the Chozo has no mind or reasoning of its own, though. This will be the entrusted one's trail. Trial, even. Sorry. Okay. I think I did pretty <laughs> I like to think I did pretty good with that one. I made like one or two stumbles. So. To think that re playing a video game is actually helping me read. Okay. So, as you can just see, that guy will just throw you up here and then. You bomb this thing. And then we get some panels. Because who doesn't like panels? Okay, and I think we just, we only have the one for the wave beam. Um, where, where am I going here? <laughs> wave, wave beam. So you blast that thing with the wave beam and then we're going to unlock a little bit of a secret. And as you can see, there's a individual one for each beam. Uh, this one was just going to bring you through the area. The one with the ice beam will unlock a energy tank and then the one with the plasma beam uh, actually gives you an artifact. There is an artifact in this room. Can we, you know we can get into that. There we go. There we go. Okay. 
and we have to sit through the entire animation disc, but still I think it's pretty cool that the Chozo had a uh, technology like this. Okay, next room should be the one where we where we can get the um, the ice beam. No, wrong visor. Scan. Thank you. Okay, that's just to get rid of that force field right there. Okay, maybe it's the next room. Can we go, please? I think this room has all the frogs and whatnot. Yeah, hey froggies. So if you make your way down here, I just want to bomb this thing. Which is going to suck all the little fishies away. Poor guys. Okay, I think the only frog we have to just let... Actually, no, I don't think we need to let any of them really catch us. If we just get that guy up there. Come on. There we go. And in here, you will find... Come on. Ice Beam! Ice Beam acquired. You press down and hold plus and move to the direction that you need to move to the direction, which is this one. And there we go, we got Ice Beam. And with that, I would like to thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Metroid Prime on Hyper Mode on the Metroid Prime Trilogy. If this door would open. There we go, we got a save point. And in the next episode, we will we will make our way back to Fendrona Drifts, where that area was where we originally fought Tardis, because now we can get through there. So, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. So, bye bye for now.